Hey subscribers, it's Lil Goofy and welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, the concept that I'm trying to do here is I created a career mode, as you can see here, which is basically a super league. It's basically the top four teams of the top five leagues in Europe, all placed into one league. I chose the Premier League because, you know, the Premier League is one of the best leagues in the world. So I just chose to put them there and I got all the top four teams from the top five leagues in Europe and I put them in this. And I'm gonna be simming each month and getting the results on who's the best and this will show who would be the best team in Europe in a natural, just regular league. So let's get into the first month. Here we go, the first month is over now and it's the end of the transfer window as you can see here. I have all these emails as you can see. I have not been playing them at all. Any games. And I just chose Juventus because that's my favorite team in real life so I just chose that. It doesn't really matter what team I would have picked but yeah. And I forgot to mention, um, the new transfers are in this career mode. All the new transfers of this transfer window in real life are all in the game that I put them in manually. So let's look at the results, the first month. As you can see, Juventus is in first place, actually. That's very coincidental. I've not been playing any games, I swear, guys. And there's Paris Saint-Germain, PSG in second, Bayern Munich, Inter, Napoli. Looks like the Italian teams are a little dominant right now. Dortmund in last place, Roma 19. Barcelona 13th and Real Madrid 11th. That's a little shocking right there for me. Liverpool in 16th. That's pretty shocking as well. You would think with all the new transfers that they would do very well. So yeah, the first month is over. Now let's go into the second. And here we go. The second month is over with. There's seven games that have been played. And there it is. Bayern Munich in first place. Juventus is in third. We have Barcelona in second who made a comeback from, I believe, the 13th spot it was. Inter still in the top four. Then you have Paris in sixth. Manchester United in eighth. Real Madrid 12th still there, not having a good season here. They can't compete with the top teams. Dortmund still in last. Wow. Liverpool still 15th, they're struggling. Manchester City also struggling, I just noticed that now, they're in 13th. And yeah, second month is over with, let's go into the third now. Third month is over with, let's see the results now. Bayern Munich still in first place. Inter has climbed up now into second place. Manchester United now in third. Barcelona fourth. And Juventus has dropped to fifth. Paris still eighth. They're, they're kind of climbing up. Real Madrid still struggling at 11th. And Dortmund out of the relegation zone. Wow, that's good for them. Manchester City still in the lower half of the table. And looks like Liverpool is 20th place last that's shocking for me that's the biggest shocker for me personally i think the liverpool is a very 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 good team in real life and in fifa so that's very shocking to me let's go into the fourth month now and we are back with the fourth month it's over with these are the standings from this month let's go into it we have Barcelona in first place, Inter in second, Bayern Munich in third, and they have one less game than Inter. Juventus in fourth, Spurs in fifth, Manchester United climbing up still, sixth place, Paris is in eighth. That's that's a little underwhelming from them. Real Madrid still in the lower half, they're midway in tenth place. Monaco eleventh, Atletico twelfth, Manchester City sixteenth, and Liverpool nineteenth. Wow, that's ridiculous. Let's just get into the next month now. Now we are more than halfway through the season and Juventus are back at the top. While wow, Barcelona are in second, Inter still in third, Spurs fourth, and Bayern Munich fifth, they've dropped down. Real Madrid slowly but surely look at them crawling up there in seventh place. Paris still tenth on the lower half. Manchester United and Manchester City just falling off. Dortmund and Liverpool still in the bottom half. Can they make it out the relegation zone? Wow, this has been a very good first half of the season. Let's see how the other half ends up, who's going to be the winner of the Super League. Now into March, Juventus still are holding that first spot, Spurs still in second. Inter has finally gotten out of the top four, I might have just jinxed the guys for saying that for the last month. Bayern Munich is in fourth, Barcelona is in third, Paris is in seventh, Manchester United in eighth, they're climbing up a little bit, Manchester City still in 12th, Real Madrid in 10th, they're equal in the top half and lower half. Dortmund are going back down again, Atletico is still stuck in the lower half, and Liverpool have finally gotten out of the relegation zone. I'm actually happy for that one because I love this Liverpool team, just 
I don't know what they're doing in this career mode right now. Let's see how the teams do in the next month now. With just eight games to go in the season, it is a race for the title between Spurs, Juventus, Bayern Munich. Barcelona could still be in the race. Same with Inter. This is a tight top five. With Real Madrid at 52 points, they've climbed up. Paris at 50. Manchester United also at 50. This is starting to come out really close, guys. Between Spurs, Juventus, Bayern, and Barcelona. Oh my goodness. Also, let's look at the lower half of the table. Manchester City still in the lower half. Atletico as well. They're climbing up though. Liverpool Dortmund. They're killing me, guys. They're still in the 16th and 17th spots. It looks like they go up, then they go back down. Go up, go back down. I don't know what they're trying to do here. So let's see maybe out of what can they climb up the table in the next month. We only have two more games in the season. Spurs are in first place as Bayern Munich are down one game though. I just saw that right now with 69 points in Juventus. They've fallen down a bit. Spurs have the upper hand on them. Juventus has 68 points. While Barcelona, I would most likely say they're out of the title race as there's only two games left, so that would technically be impossible for them to win. Juventus still have a chance. They need some luck on their side. But let's look on the bottom half. Inter still in fifth place. They've been a very consistent team. They're not the best team, but they've been a very consistent team. Real Madrid in sixth. They could overpass Inter, maybe. Paris with 57, Manchester United 54, Manchester City going up there on the upper half of the table. Monaco in 10th, Napoli in 11th. Madrid, Atletico Madrid in 12th. Liverpool 14th, let's go! They've gotten it off in the table. Dortmund, they're still down there, but at least Liverpool is improving. Let's now see, guys, who will be the winner of the Super League. Before I show you guys who has won the league, let's see who the top goal scorer was. It was a three-way tie with Neymar, Roberto Firmino, and Dybala of Juventus. You see down here, Alexandro of the left back of Juventus, this shocked me, has 11 goals this season. That's absolutely insane. The person with the most assist was Asensio of Real Madrid. As you can see, Young Min Sun is in second, Gareth Bale. Another Real Madrid player in third, Cavani in seven. Now, the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who has won the Super League. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Spurs have won the Super League. Spurs have actually won the Super League. I would have never guessed of all the teams in this league that I put together that Spurs would have won it. Wow, they can't even win the Premier League, but they can win a Super League with the best teams in the world. Bayern Munich Fitch off in second, Juventus third, Barcelona fourth, Inter fifth, Paris sixth, Real Madrid seventh, Manchester City eighth, Manchester United ninth, Napoli tenth, Monaco eleventh, Atletico Madrid twelfth, Olympic Lyon thirteenth, Liverpool fourteenth, let's go, Dortmund fifteenth, they're not in the relegation zone, yes, Valencia sixteenth. Roma in 17th, Offenheim 18th, Olympic Marseille 19th, and Schalke 20th. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, this was the Super League. Leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video, but I just wanted to see, I was curious myself who would win, would have never guessed Spurs, but there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.